presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make a great night, folks. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 38, NASDAQ is up 49, SP is up 12 and a half. You get the ever ready bunny here, folks, in a big way. Pretty cool. Gold, gold contract down $3.60, trading at 1780 an ounce. We got silver down 25 cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 61, $63.85 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up five ticks, trading 134.10. The 30, 30 year bond up 24 at 165.24. And King Dollar. King Dollar broke a tie. It's up 404 ticks, 93.539. Euro at 116. Yen at 109.79. The British pound at 130. Six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wonder what's going on in your world. Let me get these babies up. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's been quite a day out here. There's no two ways about that. If we go take a look at the futures first, what you're going to see. So you had Asia down last night. You had Europe down this morning. We were down good. You had the s s and is down to 43, 47, and they just said, see ya, don't want to be you. And the bottom line is that they got, went all the way from 43, 47, and right now we're at 4406. If we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see out here, it's going to get intriguing because you have option expiration tomorrow. And, you know, the bottom line is that <laughs> when we talk about white light, what white light is, folks, is that you're buying options that expire tomorrow, and you can imagine... Uh, whoever was buying options at the lows out here today, that, that had to be, ooh, that was about as, in, about as good as you can get. In fact, let me pull up the NQs for a second. got to see this. So if we pull up the NQs, the NQs had a low of 710, and you're 250 points above that. And if we take a look at it, yeah, they, they broke all the lows, man. That's the bottom line. You broke all the lows for sure, and then you just took off like a rocket ship. Now, that being said, it looks to me that the way that we're actually set up here um, is that what you, what you do have is that this roll is happening, meaning I suspect what we're going to try to do now is that we're going to try to get to the uh, consolidation. Now, the, the consolidation inside the queues, the top of this is 355, the low is 352, somewhere in there, because this is not, even though you made it all the way back up today, there's, there's a lot of volume, 36 million shares. Um, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out, but that's what I'm looking at. If we take a look at the gold contract out here, what you have with the gold contract, gold contract trading down 390. It's amazing that gold's not really getting smoked, folks, because the bottom, and it's not getting smoked at all, uh, because of the fact that what the dollar's doing. Right now, when gold went down to 1774, you're at 1780. Uh, what you want to keep your eye on is this, and this is going to be intriguing, of course, 
every Friday is well, every day is intriguing with gold, but uh, coming into a Friday is going to be a trip, no doubt. Uh, you don't need a lot of volume to get an ABC structure in the way up. 1797.50, 60 rather, is, is the B point. If you get 145,000, more than 145,000, you get ABC structure on the way up, and it's a monster one. It's 120 A to B equals C to D. Now, we go over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. Bottom line, inside the dollar, it's, uh, it's saying that, hey, man, it's going to be hard for this gold contract to go anywhere. Uh, we just broke the March highs. But that being said, the market's saying something. You know, I'm not quite, uh, well, the market, the market is saying that the dollar can get higher, and right now it doesn't matter. And I can tell you, on a short-term basis, that, that can work. On a not even on a longer-term basis, meaning a couple weeks, it doesn't work, folks. The bottom line is that where the dollar goes, gold goes. Meaning, you get a weaker dollar, the bottom line, gold will go higher. You get a stronger dollar, gold goes lower. That's what it comes down to. So we get quite a market, no doubt. And I want to wish a great happy birthday to Ulti. So Ulti, right, you got to check this out. So this is, this is really cool. Ulti, folks, lives in Avion, France. Uh, he's a nephew of one of my business partners, and he's four years old. So Ulti, happy birthday, brother. Make it a great year out there. Wow! And best of you're going to have to teach him how to growl. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. <laughs> Let's go to Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey there, Tom. Yeah. Happy birthday, Opie, out there. Over Thank in you. Paris. Okay, so Cadence Design, right? Yeah, look, Tom, you said um, last week I heard you utter the words 180 on Cadence. Uh, were you drinking snops from under the desk? Is that for real? <laughs> well, let's see what we have here. So we pushed, yeah, this is why. We pushed into the swing with, with volume. We pull this on a monthly. Well, you can, let me just put them, my. So on a monthly, I'm trying to figure out, here, let me get back to a weekly. I'm trying to figure out where I got the 180 from right now. One sec. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. So, yeah, you broke the consolidation. So the longer that it stays above 149, so what I, what I did, Jose, is this. When you break a consolidation, you take the top of the consolidation, 149. You take the bottom out here, which is 118. So we got what? That's, two, that's 20. What did I say, 49? Yeah. So you got, yeah, you get 30 bucks, and you add the 30 onto 150. That's where I got the 180. That's. Oh, I got you. That, I got that's you. How, okay. Yeah. Um, hey, Tom, uh, it looks like we're going to have, you, you got, look, the market's been down quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. You're going to have the, the usual annual good feeling rally going into uh, Labor Day, no doubt. You know, I'm glad you just brought that up because there's no doubt, man. That, they, yeah, there is. Labor Day, folks, is just like the 4th of July. I know. Yeah. Hey, listen, the, the market rejected a lower price out here today. I think we're in a consolidation that lower ends there. But you can see, you know, market-wise, I think it's going to be a slow roll, man. That's what I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, Tom, 8 a.m. in Newmont are near the yearly lows. Look out. Yeah, look out below. Cooking, brother. <laughs> Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thank you. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 36. NASDAQ is up 38. S&Ps are up 10 and a half. If we go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness, strength out here, Synopsis is up 8.9%. Get Trip.com up 5.6. Netflix got a bid, man. Netflix is up 4.8% or uh, $25. You get NVIDIA up 4.3 or uh, $840. NVIDIA's been all over the place, too. It has had a high out here today, folks, of 204 it has a low out here of 187. Now, taken away from it, look at these numbers, man. Illumina is just absolutely smoked. They woke up this morning with Illumina, and they just took that thing south. It's down 9.5% uh, at $49. You get Pendor Duo off 7.3%. NetEase is off 5.9%, and JD.com is off 4.93. So if we actually go over, I just want to go over to Hong Kong for a second, show you um, those three stocks that down big. Uh, the Shanghai market and the Hang Sang market, folks, uh, bottom lines have been getting toasted in a big way. If I bring up Hang Sang first, what you're going to see here, you can see the red on the screen, and bottom line is that it's coming into the lows, and it's a high-volume low that we're coming into, so we'll see, we'll see how this baby shakes out. But what's really cool, if you start really understanding, you know, the volume in the indices, you can get a big heads up in the aspect because Asia is way ahead of us, okay? So the bottom line is that I suspect Hang Seng's going to go after 24,788. You're 25,000, you know, 315. So I suspect, you know, we're going to see how that baby shakes out. Um, and that makes a huge difference for the rest of the world because then as soon as the Europe opens up, you can see what hap ends up happening out here today. You know, the DAX went down to uh, 621. It closed at 765. Still had some juice on the way down, though, and, you know, come back a bit as our markets were coming back. Uh, but the same day, the, the day to benchmark out here is July 19th, folks. July 19th is the day to keep your eye on. That's where I think we're going inside of this market. Now, let's go take a look at a couple commodity ETFs. And let's see. Let's see. USCI, USCI. Let's see what is the most... Okay. Okay, so let's see what's inside this first. Holdings. Con, gas, soy meal, lead. Okay, this is interesting. But it's not something that we trade a lot of. But what else? See, there's, there's a lot of different commodity ETFs. DBA, I think, would be more cognizant of what we're actually trading every day. Let me see. So the DBA... 
sugar, cocoa, lean, that's the same thing. Um, okay, so we'll do the DBA. So the DBA right now is trading out at $19.03. Uh, the low uh, out here for the year is $14.23. The high is $19.43. Yeah. <laughs> This one's higher price, man. This is, you know, th what's intriguing about this, this has been a consolidation, um, but these highs are game again, you know, and yesterday you didn't have a lot of price movement, but you had volume in. So you, you back down today with light volume. This is gonna go for the highs again. The high that we're talking about here is uh, 1936. So we'll see how that shakes out. The, uh, let's see, I got, Sabane, this baby is getting smoked out here today. S B W S B S W. Now this this equity here was going up. It's a gold and platinum equity. This this equity was going up when none of the other gold equities are actually going up. Three months ago, you're at thirty. No, you're twenty dollars and sixty nine cents. You're at fourteen bucks. It's breaking a swing and breaking it with volume out here today. So this is trouble in paradise right now. Yeah, and so you came down with volume two weeks ago. You're breaking that. We're not going to have enough volume there on the break, but this looks to me like you can actually get down to that right there. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. So on a weekly, that's trouble. It's trouble for sure. Let's see. 20... 15, five bucks. It's an ABC down to 13, approximately 13. Yeah, so it's breaking the B point out here, breaking it today, has volume behind the move. Let's go to Frankel, uh, I mean, uh, FCX, which is uh, Freeport Mac Moran. Uh, now, this baby here, uh, this is gonna be intriguing. Uh, and the reason being is this, is that this held the 3136. We got to 3165. And that's the low of today, and then a rejected lower price. But let me show you, cop, co the, the copper contract, folks, went to its swing point and rejected lower price. This, this copper contract gets smoked, but then it rejected lower price. Look at this, this thing. So bring this back over here. So we had copper today, it was down 12 pennies at one point. It was as low as 396. You're trading at 404 right now. And you want to see it get back into, yeah, went to his lower swings and rejected lower price. So I expect COP is going to uh, basically go higher now. If we take a look at the TGB to, to Seiko, uh, this is down 10 cents. Yesterday it was a sideways move. So we're going after 147, what, 149. Yeah, it looks like 147 is game. We put that, that's on the daily. If we put this on a weekly, yeah, if you put this on a weekly, it's going back to a breakout area. On a, week, on a weekly, it can actually go to 138. That's how this baby's set up right now. Um, yeah, so. Let's go take a look at Shopify. Now, Shopify, you talk about an equity, a low for the year. Is 839 the high 1650? Uh, next time they come out with their numbers is October 29th. And right now, look at the growth in this company. This is just amazing. So, the, the growth five years ago was doing 673 million. This year it's going to do 4.6 billion. Next year, folks, it's going to do 6.2 billion. Now, I can tell you that when we swapped the website, I used to have a, a database website folks okay and when you had a database website that was great when we did it and then you know when we had it we had we needed a full-time software engineer on you know on basically on the company uh what shopify did is the bottom line they made things so easy that guess what you know the bottom line it's a, it's a great system uh and you can see why they're that high there's, there's no doubt if we take a look at this Well, see, what you, what you don't have here is a high volume high. So if you're thinking of buying it, I'd wait. I'd wait because it looks to me like this could actually test 
like 1351. 1461 to 1351. Where I'm going there, you can see how that volume sticks out right there. That's where, that's where I'm going. Go take a look at Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft is breaking highs out here today. Uh, this little baby is at all-time highs. You're up uh, 644. It's actually pretty amazing how my Microsoft has actually moved when you have 7.5 billion shares. 7.5 billion shares, folks. Amazing. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, just turned green. You're up 19. You get the uh, S&Ps uh, up 15. NASDAQ's up uh, 51. Now, if we go over to Microsoft again, what you have with Microsoft, this is what's going on, folks, okay? Microsoft is going to be going up 20% in some of its descriptions like the Office 365, 365, and let me tell you, anecdotally, people are going to pay it. We, we use it. It's a great service. Another, you know, it's another, 20% it, it, is a monster number. There's no two ways about that. What the difference is, though, is that you're starting out kind of at a small number. Well, I think it's a small number. I don't know. What, I forget whether it's 149 we pay um, ahead or what, whatever it is. Um, the bottom line is that it's it's not a huge deal um, on top of that. Now, when I was looking at the numbers here, I'm trying to figure out productivity in business. That might be what that's under. And if it is, they already do 53 billion. So you can imagine 
If you're talking, you know, a 20% hike, that's an additional 10 billion right to their bottom line then. When I say right to their bottom line, um, the bottom line is, is that, yeah, it, is that they don't have to do anything. Uh, all that they do, you know, the subscription goes out, they charge your credit card, and guess what? They say that's 20%. Yeah, so it's, it's, a big, it's a big number. There's no two ways about that. Let's go take a look at Amazon. So Amazon, I always talk quite a bit about the aspect of how Amazon, how hot it is to, to buy Amazon. So this time, bottom line is that it's, first it's coming into a lower swing. That lower swing is 31, 32. We're 31, 96 right now. I suspect what this is going to do when all said and done, though, is actually get it to 3,000. Because if I've found anything with Amazon, it always is so hard to buy Amazon. It's like, oh, my God. You know, it looks like when Amazon comes down, folks, it looks like it's, like it's going to just, you know, crash forever. Bottom line, you know, we'll see how this shakes out uh, when it gets to the lower end of its consolidation. Something that you can watch with Amazon, which is pretty cool, is that when you break out, so Amazon broke out. This is a false break to the top side. I wish it hadn't t tested the high. What had happened is this. When you take a look at the weekly at 37.59, you know, we did uh, 21 million, then I tested it with 16. I, that's, that's too bad, actually. Bottom line, though, we'll see how it handles the lower end of this consolidation, which is 28.81. And I suspect we're going to get there. You know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. More than likely what it'll do, it'll probably spike that area. We're like, oh, no. And then it's like, okay, if it... Does spike the area, then you're going to talk some serious business. But uh, guess what? It's easier getting ready before the fact uh, if, in fact, you want to buy Amazon. You know, because if you just look at it quick and say, oh, my God, hold it. This thing went, just went down, you know, $1,000, you know, uh, 20%. It's like, oh, that's got to be the end of the world. Uh, what you have to remember, and this was, uh, I'm taking this from one of our, the Tigers in our Tigers Den. Um, he was saying that, this is, this is a great quote, too. He was saying that Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world because he took, whether it's two or three 90% retracements and never sold any of the stock. It's the truth, too. I mean, there's no doubt. If you look at Amazon, Amazon has had retracements that are absolutely incredible. Uh, <laughs> and guess what? They just come flying back. Now, what they announced out here today is that they announced that they are going to be starting to open um, clothing stores, big clothing stores. Yeah, let me see if I can find this one because this was like... Clothing stores. Here we go. Okay, so Amazon has plans to expand its retail business by opening department stores in the United States. The online shopping uh, behemoth uh, outpaced Walmart earlier this week in total sales to be in the largest retailer outside of China. Oh, baby, that's a trip. The first department store locations were reportedly open in California and Ohio. Uh, they are thought to be modeled on Bloomberg's and Nostrum and sell various household items, including clothes and electronics. Amazon has already opened to brick and mortar stores, mostly in urban areas. Customers can purchase items without checking out as long as they have an Amazon Prime subscription. It's be pretty wild, man. You walk, you walk into a store, you get what you want, you walk back out, and that's it. It's, it's pretty amazing. So, so Amazon puts the stores out of business, then opens new stores, take, takes, the, takes the stores they put out of business, um, and goes from there. And we, we talk about... Uh, putting people out of business. This is going to be interesting on Facebook. So Facebook, I believe it's the FTC is going after them again. Yeah. So the FTC is going after uh, Facebook on a new antitrust. It's a do-over. Uh, the, the last one got thrown out. And what this is all about, uh, the Federal Trade Commission on Thursday filed a new complaint in federal court in Washington alleging that Facebook violated antitrust laws by buying Instagram and WhatsApp in order to eliminate them as competition. You know, we'll see whether that thing can uh, fly. Uh, it certainly hasn't hit, hit, hit the stock. The, looking at the stock, people are saying, yeah, you know what? You know, you have no teeth. <laughs> that's, that's how this thing is shaking out. And if you do take a look at Facebook, yeah, Facebook has a high volume high, man. <laughs> Facebook wants higher price. So let's just see what kind of bread Facebook's taking in right now. So the next time they come out with numbers is October 29th. Their revenue, look at these numbers. So picture, they're doing $29 billion a quarter now. Five years ago, they did $40 billion a year. They're still growing on a three-year basis all over the world by approximately 8% per year. You know, their advertising business is growing by 9% a year. 
their payments, and this is this is a new part of the business. So I'll show you, check this out. So payments and other, so they're it, it's all advertising. They're ad advertising business is 84.2 billion. Payments are 1.8 billion. That's growing by 36 percent or 12 percent per year. It's a big number, man. It's definitely a big number. It's going to take quite a bit to corral um, Facebook. You can imagine the attorneys that that Facebook is have, and and I'm sure. A bunch of them have already just worked for the FTC, uh, Federal Trade Commission, you know. So, SMHs. Let's go take a look at the uh, semiconductor index out here. You get NVIDIA is hitting highs out here today. So, the semiconductor index went down to 249, rejected lower price. The lower end of this consolidation, the highs of the low is 247. And this is not looking bad, man. I mean, this is looking like, okay, it wants higher price. Let's go take a look at a few of them. LRCX. Lamb Research. So Lamb, look at that, all the way down to the bottom of the consolidation. Not bad. Lamb hit 561 today. The bottom of the consolidation is 555. The top is 578. And right now you're at 577 is the top. is at 578. That's impressive, man. I mean, it's going to take some building some cause to get through the downdraft of last week. Because last week... You had some big volume on the way down, and you're going to need some back and forth movement in order to get through that uh, volume. But you can see that uh, the bottom line is that it rejected lower price out here today. Now, Netflix is on fire. Uh, Netflix out here today, well, are they going up in price too? I, I'm trying to figure out why Netflix is, is moving so dramatically. Let's see. I'm not sure. They're buying it. That's the bottom line. Uh, what you do have with Netflix out here, uh, you have wide price spread. You get an acceleration of volume. And I believe Netflix had a high volume high also. Yeah, it did. There he goes. Jeez. It's amazing, man. 593, man. It's going up to 593. But that thing hasn't got tested. It's sticking out like, they're, like a sore thumb. Let's see. We all green yet? Almost. Dow just went back. Dow, Dow's down 11. Nasdaq's up 38. S&P's up 13 and a half. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU 
or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to uh, Danny in Connecticut. Hey, Danny, what's going on? Danny wants to look at Goldman Sachs, so... Let's take a look at this. The low is 185, the high is 418. Is there, Danny? Okay, that's cool. That's all right. We'll, we'll get this uh, baby going for him. Okay, so he's looking at Goldman Sachs, coming back to its breakout area. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to buy it, I'd wait for it to get to like 384. You're at 394 right now. That would be back to the breakout area. It's coming back with light volume and as long as it came back with light volume, rejected lower price at that number, you're, you're basically in, in good shape. The, uh, okay, where was I just then? Oh, I know, CLF. Okay, so let's go to Cleveland Cliffs. Cleveland Cliffs, okay, so the low in Cleveland Cliffs, this is CLF. The low for the year is uh, 548, the high is 2650. You're trading at 2340, and... Okay, so you're back inside the lower range again. Once you get back inside the lower range, that means you got you got to wait to the bottom of the range. You know, you rejected the lower price out here, but you had some volume. So Yeah, I'd let this get back to the, the other side of the lower range, which is uh, 1851. Right now you're at 2340. I know that's pretty intense, but that's what it looks like. And then, if you want to see something pretty intense, okay, this is pretty sick. Uh, we'll bring up a few of these silver stocks. So if we bring up Heckler first, you know, Heckler three months ago was at uh, 944, you're at 551. We put this on a weekly. You're coming into the bottom 522, huh? Yeah, I'd wait for like this 522 to get hit, 522 to, oh my God, 460. Yeah, 460 is the bottom of this consolidation. That's what it looks like. And in Heckler's case, now this is where, this is kind of a problem. In Heckler's case, you can see you got very 32 million shares at the high, and then you come off the high with 69 million. That means that you got a big dog that's coming out of that place, man. That's, that's how that shakes out, and that's a problem. Whenever you come off highs with big volume, it's a problem. Well, what you do is that you have a bigger correction than normal. That's, a, that's, that's my point, because it's a big fund that's getting out, and they're not buying back. Uh, if we take a look at Endeavor Silva, this is also, a, a, well, all these silver equities have done the same thing. Endeavor has just gone from 730, we're at 409, 409 and this can get to 340. You know, you get three, four, as soon as it got back into 456, 340 is game. That's, a, that's the strength. That's the strength going all the way back to uh, December of 2020, and then AG. This is uh, First Majestic. Uh, this is at 1172 right now. What is this? 26 million. 20 million. Ooh, man, this could be a problem, too. This is going to be interesting coming into tomorrow, man, because you break in a B point here, and it looks like you're going to have enough volume, man. Man, they, they've been killing these things. This is, like, pretty amazing. It's, what's pretty amazing is that they've been killing them, and, you know, 
I mean, Golgot smoked a couple Fridays ago, but you know, since then, it's, it has not the end of the world, but some of these equities look like they're the end of the world. If we take a look at Nike out here, uh, Nike's uh, down 324. Um, and the question is, do I consider it an island top? And I don't, yeah, no. An island top is, you know, uh, what ends up happening, folks, is that you gap up, you make a high, you gap down, and you don't have to think about it, meaning uh, that you basically look at it and you know, like right off the bat, that it's an island top, okay? That, that's, that's you know, meaning that you have gaps on each side. I can tell you technically, if you have to think too much um, about what you're looking at, it's not. That's, that's, that's kind of how I roll uh, in general, okay? Because if you have to, you have to think it through, saying, is this, it, like, is this here? No. That, that is, that's not how most of the patents set up. What, what ends up happening when you get a decent patent that sets up, it's pretty clear. Well, here, let me, let me show you this, because this one's going to be really intriguing, because this is the gold contract. Now, to me, the gold contract is set up as a potential ABC structure on the way up, and this is why. So let me just show you how this, this is. It doesn't mean that I will get it, but you can see it's pretty clear. You came off the low, you, you went up, and, you know, the volume wasn't bad on the way up. You, you contracted with volume yesterday. Today's not going to be bad. The contraction, 145 to 145, is still not bad. But you can see that you don't need much going into a B point, and then you really get some action. So that's kind of what you're looking for, you know, with some clarity all around. That's what, that's what it comes down to. Uh, if we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at Newmont Oaxi. I got to go take a look at the OIH for one of our tigers out here. So this thing uh, has really turned into a mess. This is down 679. You're at 166.79. You broke the swing. The swing that we were looking at was the 165.21. No, 168.21. You went to 165 today. This closes. Here, I mean, the bottom line is that this can go a lot lower. And then if you look at Exxon, Mobil, and Chevron, what you're going to see there is, you know, Exxon's breaking out its lows. It's down to buck seventy-nine. You know what's amazing, folks, is that, so we've gone from 64 to 52. I mean, some of these stocks, the, and this is, a, this is something that, to, to wrap your head around also. You know, I've heard plenty of analysts say, hey, listen, man, We've been, well, my man Basil Chapman has been talking about this, actually, that we've been in a rolling co correction, you know, and I can see that. You know, you can see that when you're pulling some of these equities up, these, some of these equities have been, they are down pretty good. Well, they're down 20 percent, which, you know, if the S&P was down 20 percent, people would be uh, really flipping out. Let's go to John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hi, uh, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Okay. Um, you just spoke about oil. Um, FENY, what price would you buy that? Okay, let's take a look. Is it this a buy is, now? No. Nope, not even close. This is the exact same. Expect, I'm sorry, go ahead. You expect crude to go to 61? Well, you're asking me about the crude stocks. You want to do crude too? I, I can do that. I'm just I'm just asking. You just... You just it, the Fenny is uh, I, I know what a it combination is. of oil and gas, I guess. No, well, it, it's 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 Chevron and uh, Exxon Mobil. That's you know, it's mm -hmm. everything else. But Chevron's twenty one percent of it. Exxon Mobil seventeen. So at twenty one thirty one, th that's thirty eight percent. Conical Phillips six. So those three stocks make up forty thirty six forty two percent of it. So you, you take a look at this. This is breaking lows. Yeah, I'd be really careful, man. This looks to me to go to like 10, 10, 55, man. And then if you look at the oil contract, you're at 64.11. Yeah, 61.06 is game, right? Cooking, brother. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. 
At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And uh, this is pretty intriguing, folks. So Illumina is down 10% today. And one of the reasons, folks, is that Illumina, so this is the first time this has ever happened, folks. Illumina is tired of waiting around for regulators. The gene sequencing giant said Wednesday that it had closed an $8 billion deal for cancer testing startup Grail Corporation, even though the European and antitrust agencies continue to examine it. Um, Illumina contends that the deal is pro-competitive and that closing early will save lives by expanding access to Grail's lead product, a blood test, to detect multiple cancers early in an otherwise healthy people. Even so, the stock is down 10%. Now, the bottom line, this is going to get really intriguing. Um, and what, what has also happened here is so, so Grail doesn't have to take any uh, revenue in, folks, okay? And Grail was actually spun off from Illumina. Uh, so this is going to be wild watching this thing shake out. So they're, they're figuring uh, with, the, with the F... Uh, F would be the Federal Drug Committee, the FDA. What the FDA does, as well as the European Antitrust Agency, uh, what they do most times, okay, is that they're trying to hang you up in court past the deal deadlines if they really don't want it to go through. And uh, Illumina just told them, go take a hike, man. You know, so we'll see where this shakes out. But that is a first uh, in the marketplace that you had to close and they closed it. But the bottom line, they closed an $8 billion deal. They're going to keep that company separate just in case they lose the whole battle uh, going forward. But I think they got a chance. And you really got the, get the chance. They got the chance because the fact of the matter is uh, that the bottom line is that you heard right, exactly what they said. Well, if you get a test that can detect cancers and folks that aren't even sick and multiple cancers, well, guess what? That should, the more money you have to get out into the marketplace, that's the name of the game. That's the real bottom line. 
Market wise out here, you know, the bottom line, I think the roll's on. That's, that's what it looks like to me. You have, uh, right now, the Dow's down uh, 110, the NASDAQ uh, is up two, S&P's are up two and a half. The, ro the roll's happening though. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Please come back and visit us tomorrow. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show. Please say a friends to go to YouTube, search TFNN, subscribe. It is free. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks. <laughs>